Hi, I'm Liang Yuan. I grew up in Kaohsiung, Taiwan. As a teenager growing up in Taiwan, I always knew I was gay. My biggest fear at the time was that if I were to come out to others, it doesn't matter how much effort I have put into win something, to be better at something, to build myself into something, it would just be completely negated by the fact that I was gay. My parents applied for a green card when I was very young, and um, we didn't really think we were going to use the status to actually move, but they thought, put it there, who knows what's going to happen 12, 13 years later. At that year, green card came down, and I had the chance to, at least on paper, the documentations were clear that if I want to, to if I want to move to the U.S., I could. My vision of the U.S. at the time was such a liberal place. It was scientifically advanced. Everybody in the education system knows so much, and it's absolutely progressive in politics and um, scientific, and everything is so logical in the government. I wanted a different environment to, to be myself. That means challenging myself in a new environment where I knew nobody, and also, in my mind, a good place to come out. I had told my parents I wanted to come. Uh, my dad actually wasn't all about it in the, uh, in the beginning, but my mom was. I finished my 11th grade in, in, uh, with my uncle here in the Houston area, and I started in college. I guess really that was the first time I started putting the pressure on myself that I, I wanted to come out. I remember my, a lot of my roommates, my uh, sweet mates, they were just cranking out straight dude, college dude jokes about how, oh my God, stuff that, that faggot. But back then I wanted to fit in so badly that I would even laughed uh, like with them on those jokes, even though I didn't quite find them funny. That actually kind of prompted me to really take some actions. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know any gay friends. I didn't know anyone else that's gay, but I knew there was such thing as career counseling. So I was like, okay, so a career counselor is someone who's there to kind of help you guide through career choices. Maybe I can sneak that in. I went to the appointment and I remember that counselor was so nice. So I started to talk about, oh yeah, I want to I want to do math, but I also like music. It was so much fun. I started singing in choir and it, it felt so good. So we talked about those things for, for quite some time. I want to say maybe about 30 minutes or halfway through the appointment. And then she sensed that the conversation was coming to the end. So she was just sitting there very politely. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's like, Are you, do you have any more things to say? So I started saying, um, well, I, I want to, I, I continued doing that for at least another 20 minutes or so. Eventually, I set it out and I started bawling at a career counseling session about being gay. I think I got to a point and I just, okay, I'm so sorry, you have an appointment, you're late, I gotta go, bye. And I left. Uh, so that's the first time I've ever said I was gay. The next year, I transferred to UT Austin. I joined Longhorn Singers. It was a show choir. <laughs> we had this other guy, let's call him L. And he was so I'm apologetically flamboyant and people loved him. And for the first time in my life, I saw that there is this open gay figure that was praised and celebrated for being who he is. So I told him once, hey, L, can we, can we like talk in front of the class before, uh, before rehearsal next time? I just, I want to talk to you. And he's like, okay. So we showed up 15 minutes early before rehearsal. We went to the site building at the UT Music uh, sorry, the choir hall. And then he sat there and it was like, so yeah, what's going on? And I was like, I want to talk about coming out. I'm gay. I had begun talking to my friends, I think maybe only one or two at a time. So this is exactly what I told Elle, that, uh, hey, I, I had told a few friends. It just didn't feel like it was getting any easier. What he told me was the same. It's like, yeah, you might not believe it now, or maybe you do already and it doesn't feel like it yet, but I guarantee you, he said, it does get better every time you say it. I think the most important thing was like, this just is the first time in my life I had a positive gay role model in, in that sense. Well, I knew I was going back home, that, uh, back to Taiwan that summer because I hadn't been home for like a year. And I also knew that I wanted to come out to my parents. I. I think I already came out to my brother the year before. Before I went back, uh, spring break I believe, I stayed in the Houston area with my uncle uh, for, for about a week, my uncle and my aunt for about a weekend. And I told my aunt, knew, knowing that I was gonna come out later that summer, that hey, I'm gay. And she said, well, you've never been with a girl, so how do you know? So I told her, well, you've never been with a girl, so how do you know? And then she said, 
mm, okay. And then she was walking away. And as she, as, as she was walking away, I asked her, hey, hold on, but just so you know, I want to tell my parents this summer. So don't talk, to, don't tell them about it. I want to tell them myself. She said, oh, okay. When I first got back to Taiwan, I actually met up with my brother first and we had lunch. And then I told him, hey, I think I'm gonna come out, come out to mom and dad. And then he said, well, your aunt already called and told them. <laughs> Eventually when I flew back, uh, sorry, flew back to Kaohsiung to meet my parents, I knew they knew. I was like, hey, mom and dad, can I talk to you in the living room? So we sat down and you can just see the same thing, that look of expectation, like the painted smiles are already, already to, they already know I was coming. I was like, I'm gay. And then my mom just said, okay, yeah, that's okay. Like not even pretended to be shocked, which is okay. I think in a dramatic side of my personality, I, I was a little disappointed that this private moment got robbed from me. But on the other hand, I also thought, well, you know, thinking about coming out this way, so many people, when they come out to people that matter to them, like their parents usually, they have about, what, three seconds to think about a proper response that, of something that they knew very little about at the time at least. So to think about it that way, it was actually very beneficial that my aunt had already told them ahead of the time. They had time to think about it. If anything, I think that had made my coming out experience a lot smoother than it could, what it could have been otherwise. My initial fear of being ostracized had just, was just so unfounded. I understand why I felt that at the time, but looking back, it was like most fears, empty. And anytime when something is hard to do, that probably means after you do it, it gets easier. If that's any consolation to incentivize something to challenge themselves.